Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Gemini? Ace of Swords at the Foundation. And this card came out perfectly on its side, Gemini. And this also represents you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the air signs. However, I'm being guided to take this as a reversal. But it's very significant that it came out perfectly on its side. Because there's a very strong energy here surrounding mental blocks. There's an energy around you, Gemini, that is making you feel like you're making a poor decision. And this energy has come up in multiple zodiac sign readings. But it really does make sense now that, wow, and I have two of swords right in the bottom of the deck, which is all about needing to make a decision, but in an energy of being at a crossroads. But what I was going to say here, Gemini, Mars recently came out of retrograde. It's now going direct. When Mars is in retrograde, this is a time that we're going back over things, collecting data, collecting information, figuring out areas of our life that can be improved. So when Mars starts going direct, we take all this information, this data, and we put it into action. This is what the Gemini Collective is doing right now. And you're in a period of time where you're starting to see that all these things in your life that have always created obstacles and confusion, cause you to have mental blocks, told you that you have poor judgment, are starting to be recognized as some sort of enemy force in your life. And for a lot of you, this is going to be close friends, family members, even romantic partners. It's going to be different for all of you, but it's going to be people close to you, people that have been holding you back in some capacity here from taking a path in your life that you're destined to take. It's all a part of your purpose. But now you're seeing clearly. You're in this energy of victory. You see this victory on the horizon line. You're actually thinking very clearly. There's this energy of mental strength. And so now I'm going to bring this Ace of Swords into the upright. Because this is the energy that you are about to step into. You are overcoming this Ace of Swords in reversed energy of being confused. That is over. And Gemini, I'm telling you right now that if you have an energy around you, that's trying to get you to doubt yourself, that is an enemy energy. Because your thinking, your decision making, is right on target in relation to whatever this is here. And this is a big decision you're trying to make here, Gemini, because this is at the foundation of your reading, the root chakra. Your root chakra is all related to your foundation, your stability. It could be living situations. It doesn't have to be. It's just something that is going to be a part of the foundation in your life. So this could be a work opportunity. It could be a creative venture. It could be something that you really hold close to your heart that you want to go after. There is a victory here, Gemini. You need to trust your higher guidance, and you need to trust this inner fire that you have for whatever this is here. Don't allow outside energies to dictate or influence your steps moving forward from this point on what do we have at the sacral please wow eight of cups pisces energy at the sacral unbelievable this goes along exactly with everything i was just saying gemini you're being called here to withdraw from this energy it's time to just move on okay there's a, a force around you that's trying to hold you back and there is a very very good reason for this Okay, because this is to their detriment. You have a major win on the horizon, Gemini. It's very important you push through the smoke and mirrors. Block all of this energy out right now. This energy of self-doubt or confusion. 
This energy of chaos. There could be energies around you trying to weigh you down with their problems, trying to consume too much of your time. These are all tactics that they're trying to utilize to hold you back. It's very important that you push through this energy. These people want you to essentially be in an energy of hopelessness, an energy of never making a decision, very indecisive, an aimless, drifting kind of energy. And I feel a lot of you have been in this energy in relation to whatever this may be here. You've been holding back and there's really no good reason why. It's the influence around you. That's the reason why. Everything inside of you is telling you to drive forward, move in this direction. Eight of Cups right at the sacral. This is all related to your passions, your creativity, things having to do with your purpose. These energies here are very manipulative that are trying to hold you back. They want you to essentially be in a state of fear and live in some sort of isolation, hidden away from the world is what I'm getting here. What do we have? The solar plexus, temperance, sag energy, further detailing everything we're picking up here. Here you are in this energy of purpose, balance and meaning leaving this chaos behind this exploding volcano you took the path your destined path very connected allowing the divine and your intuition to guide you to where you need to be this is you connecting with your true will gemini you all have this inner drive to succeed in whatever this is here. It's inside of you. It cannot be put out. The longer you deny yourself of whatever this is here, the more it will start reflecting in your environment. This is the universe trying to wake you up to this. Wake up, Gemini. We need you to go in this direction. Get away from those demons. They're trying to keep you from this energy of purpose, Gemini. You have an allocated position in this universe, Gemini, that is calling you. Gemini, Gemini, come step into your purpose, Gemini. You're like, what? What is that? People around you are like, oh, don't worry about it. Don't listen to your intuition. That's silly. Don't listen to your higher guidance. Who does that anyway? Just stay here. Aren't you happy? A lot of you are completely miserable where you are, or you just feel something's off. There's just this energy where you just have this, you just feel empty is what it is. You know you're not supposed to be where you are. However, this is showing up for you, Gemini. You really need to take control back over your happiness here. You've relinquished some sort of power in your life to your environment, to your circumstances. I'm picking up an energy of sacrificing happiness for stability, something like this. But this in and of itself is an illusion. When you're on your divine path, there is no such thing as sacrificing your happiness for stability. That's absolutely ridiculous. When you're on your divine path, you're placed in a position to create your own stability. If you have to rely on somebody else for your stability or your happiness, you are not where you're supposed to be, period. And I'm not even in Gemini, but I highly resonate with that because I've been there. I've been in relationships before, jobs. Really, this can, this can resonate in any area of your life where you feel like you're having to sacrifice one thing for the other. You have to work a crappy job so you can pay your bills. You have to be in this relationship or live with this or that person. It's an energy of having to sacrifice happiness for something miserable. It's such a backwards way of thinking. But this really is the world we live in. This is some sort of indoctrination, something that we've just grown accustomed to living inside the matrix. But it's about time that we put an end to this, Gemini. I put an end to this in my own life. You know when I had to sacrifice Gemini to put an end to that? Being around people who were miserable. That's it. Because once you truly take the power back and step into this energy of purpose, it will become so clear to you all these areas of your life that you sacrificed. And typically happiness is at the top of that list. How misaligned is that? Have a think about that, Gemini. What do we have at the heart? Six of Cups, Scorpio energy at the heart. This is an energy here, Gemini, goes along exactly with what we're saying. An energy here that's trying to tell you that your expectations for yourself are unrealistic. 
it's also an energy that wants to have you stuck in the past so you can't move forward. Just running the same cycle year after year after year. And I'm also picking up an energy here that I feel like this is this has been going on for several lifetimes for a lot of you. This could be an energy of generational karma. Your ancestors did the same thing. Sacrificed happiness for stability. Something like this. And again, it doesn't even have to be relationships. It could just be taking a job that's not in alignment with your higher self and your purpose. It's just something like this. Take it as it fits. What do we have at the throat? Nine of Cups, Pisces energy at the throat. Gemini, this whole reading here is about taking the power back in whatever area of your life this resonates with. Nine of Cups is an energy of abundance, but this is something you do on your own. After being in some sort of karmic cycle where you are made to think that you need to like pair up with people or you need to have these people in your life to have some sort of stability, you're being called here to take a leap of faith here, Gemini, with the divine and really step into your north node, your true destined path in life. There's some sort of... Uh, it's like a hoodwinking and a bamboozling. It's like you've been taken off course here. Or they're trying to take you off course. You will overcome this. It's already written with this Ace of Swords at the foundation. Especially the way it came out on its side. Which tells me that you're in the throes of making this decision right now or it's coming up. So for all of you that this resonates with, you should know what to do. Already. Based off of this reading. You're meant to go it alone, Gemini. This is the true path. Nine of Cups is a, this is the card of happiness. It's an energy of you getting what you want. All your wishes coming true. Emphasis on the solar plexus with this yellow energy here. What do we have with the third eye? And there it is. Devil, Capricorn energy at the third eye. This is such a clear reading. Here you are, shackled with whatever this energy is in your life, to Baphomet right here, right? Sacrificing your purpose. See, when these energies keep you out of stepping into alignment with your purpose, Baphomet right here feeds off of that energy of loss. Because Gemini, what I'm getting here is something of great importance, something that you're supposed to do that has some sort of a collective influence. Now, Gemini, I want you to think about how you interact with people on a day-to-day -day basis and how people interact with you. How many times do you come across somebody that you have never met or seen in your life and they say one phrase to you and it sticks with you? This is the kind of energy, the influence I'm picking up here, Gemini. You're meant to be somewhere at a very specific time to either hear something or say something. This can also be an energy of you having things arranged for you by your spirit guides in the ethers to direct you into an energy of purpose. There's just an energy here surrounding, I just heard mission. You're being distracted from your mission, Gemini. You have a higher calling. There's many layers to what I'm picking up here because it's different for each and every one of you. But whatever the case, Gemini, you must overcome this distraction. You will. It's written in the stars here. Whatever this is, Gemini, you will overcome this. The only thing that you could be in danger of is wasting more time, more delays. This is why they're showing us this reading. So when this energy comes up, you remember, and you remember the decisions you need to make. Don't forget, Gemini, anybody who's trying to distract you from your highest happiness, this path of purpose, is the enemy. Whether they know that or not, they are. A lot of them don't know that. They're being used as a host for these low vibrational energies that Baphomet sent into your life. These minions that have been assigned to you to jump around and the people you come in contact with, family members, friends, romantic partners, to keep you off path, which is telling me you are of some sort of importance. I just heard royal. And then I saw something in my peripheral vision right as I said that. I feel some of you might have been of some sort of royalty in a past life. Some sort of importance. I just heard freedom fighter for some of you. I just heard writers. I have so many messages coming through right now. It's actually been like this all day with uh, readings. Just floods of messages coming through. 
What do we have for the crown? Lovers. Gemini, that is your energy right at the crown. The lovers is an energy of alignment. This is you calibrating and aligning with your higher self, coming online. And it's so interesting how these two cards really are polar opposites, right? Because this is you coming online, aligning with your higher self, the divine, you're under divine guidance now, you're on path. This energy here is the complete opposite, not on path, shackled to Baphomet here with whoever these individuals are, could be a romantic partner, it could be family members, it could represent many people or situations in your life, being used as a sacrifice. And imagine the high vibrational feed that they get off of you by keeping you out of your purpose because you are this high vibrational light worker. What do we have the foundation from the occult tarot? Ten of Cups, Furfur, Pisces energy. So these next few cards I read as reversals, Gemini, because these are energies that are going to show up in your family members, people around you, romantic partners, energies that want to hold you back. These are the energies that are working behind the scenes to create obstacles in your life. This is read as the Ten of Cups in reverse. This is all related to family problems, community problems. It's a very lonely kind of energy, but it's an overall energy of loss. Ten of Cups upright is the general picture of happiness, one of the best cards in the tarot. So this positioning is one of the worst. Whatever this decision is here, is it. This is the deciding factor, and they know this. They feel it. So I feel like they're going all in. Some of them might even bribe you to stay or not take this opportunity, something like this. Gemini, even if you have to sacrifice things in your day-to-day -day life, which typically you need to, it's all a part of the test, you need to run as fast as you can towards this energy because you have something incredible waiting for you. There's a lot of happiness on the other side. There's an energy of complete alignment. But it's very important that you start to recognize this enemy energy in your life. And I know it's very hard to come to terms with this because it's always the people closest to us. But once you see it, you can't unsee it. Don't make up excuses for these individuals anymore, Gemini. I feel you've done that. I feel a lot of you have done that. And boy, do I know that. Making excuses as to why people refuse to self-examine. All this is doing, Gemini, is keeping you from where you need to be. Just appeasing other people sacrificing your life and your happiness to appease others. Push over energy. You're not doing them any favor. The best thing that you can do for any of these individuals, Gemini, is go after this. Be an influence. No matter how much pain comes along with that, it's the best option in the end. Because... It forces these individuals to have to look at themselves in the mirror for their behavior and their treatment towards you. And until you do that, all you're doing is delaying their judgment and their karma and delaying this energy of purpose that's waiting for you. What do we have at the sacred, please? The Fool <laughs> goes along perfectly with everything we're saying. Camillo, so this is fool in reverse energy. This is an energy of resistance. Energy that wants you to think that you're being careless with your approach. Wants you to remain in this very apathetic energy. Somebody you're dealing with could look like that, right? Male or female, I don't know. They got breasts and a beard and a mustache. I don't know what's going on there. Right, this person looks very sneaky. It's like they're walking around on their tippy toes with their hands behind their back like, hmm. Wonder if Gemini will notice what we did to him, hmm? This person is not the person they appear to be, Gemini. It's all an illusion. For a lot of you, this is a mother. This person's completely blocking you. It's time to leave this energy behind. For a lot of you, this family member that I'm picking up here was given the same opportunities that you're being presented with now and threw the opportunity away. They didn't seize the moment. 
So the torch has been passed down to you. This is, make no mistake, an energy of breaking generational karma, breaking the chains that bind. You are now being presented with the task. This person was presented with this opportunity before you were even born for those dealing with a family member. They fumbled the ball, so to speak. And so the divine sent you through because this generational karma needs to be ended. So they sent you into this family to break this generational karma. I just heard that this generational karma has been going on in this family for over 300 years. The same patterns being pushed down through each generation. You are one of the divine's best. You're one of the most skilled light workers of breaking generational karma. You've been given the task to do this now, Gemini. You are the black sheep in that family. You're meant to carve out your own path, create an influence for all those who follow behind you. And for those that aren't dealing with families, this is you just creating influence in your community, in your life, communicating this in some capacity, helping other people push through this energy. There's so many messages here. Even the personals I did today, it was just, uh, just so much information. It's like it was all building up when Mars was in um, retrograde. And even though it's been out of retrograde for a couple of weeks, I feel like we're just now, yeah, it's like we're right now, we're coming out of the shadow period. So really now is when we start feeling the effects of that. Some of you, I feel, could be feeling really tired as well but your brain is just on overload what do we have the solar plexus chariot cancer energy andras <sighs> goes along perfectly with what we're saying this is an energy that wants you to give up more delays this energy is also very domineering in your life <laughs> like you always feel like you need to appease this person or this energy Whoever it is that's showing up for you in this space. This is one of those people where it's like you're almost, you're almost afraid of what they're going to say. Uh, I'm picking up a very like passive-aggressive kind of energy from this person. This person is trying to create all sorts of issues for you. Oh, Gemini, you are, you are going to feel a sense of freedom that you have never felt before once you put this energy in your rearview mirror. What do we have with the heart? Paimon, deception, queen of wands in reverse energy. Yeah, there's a, a huge emphasis on a, um, a family member here, mothering energy. Queen of wands, chariot, which is cancer energy, mother energy. Fool in reverse. This looks like somebody's, I don't know, kind of looks a little bit androgynous, right? Ten of cups, family energy again. Ugh. This person's a cold-hearted B-I-T-C-H. This person makes you feel small. Gemini, you need to show this person what you're made of. And you do that by going after whatever this is here. That's it. You don't face off with this energy. You just go directly after your dreams, your purpose. That fire that's burning in your heart, whatever that is, go get it, Gemini. This person wants you to be stuck in an energy of apathy. Just completely bored with life. Because that's them. They've sealed their fate, and they know it. But this is also a wicked individual. You're not even like this, Gemini. That's why you're so threatening to them. They assumed that you would take the same path as them. But now they feel threatened because you're about to do or go after what they never did. Hazel. Divine Forgiveness. Hierophant. And here is God and all your spirit guides, Gemini, backing you up. Showing up to your spiritual graduation right as you cross that finishing line and break this generational karma. This is a huge deal, Gemini. In the spirit world, you are being cheered on. You don't even know it. Spirit guides all around you cheering you on, trying to send you signs and synchronicities. Pay attention to what's going on around you. I feel like I just heard something about birds. Some of you may encounter some birds getting very close to you. Animals being very drawn to you right now. 
These are all signs, Gemini, from the divine to let you know that they love you and that they are supporting you and they are guiding you and not to worry. Just keep pushing forward. You're so close. The stranger the synchronicities, the more there are, Gemini, the closer you're getting. I feel it. You're so close. <laughs> I just saw God in my mind's eye standing with the checker flag right at the finish line waiting for you in spirit. I'm getting a lot of pressure in my third eye right now. What do we have at the throat? I couldn't have asked for a more perfect card to get after everything I just said, Gemini. The world. Damabia. God, the source of wisdom, fountain of wisdom, gives success in all ventures. Gemini, the world is an energy of completing a cycle. This represents you closing out this cycle of generational karma. This is an energy of accomplishing something huge overcoming these obstacles one last push gemini you're so close what do we have at the third eye wow we just went full circle gemini eight of cups eight of cups pisces energy god the pleasure of man's children transformation gives consolation in adversity. This reading right here, Gemini, is the message that you've all been asking for. What should I do? Which way should I go? Confused. And now the divine shows you the Gemini. There's nothing in that jug. That jug represents love, emotion, support. You turning that jug upside down represents the illumination that this particular message is supposed to leave you with. There's nothing there, Gemini. There's a major transformation waiting for you. It's right there. All you have to do is say the word. It's so close. What do we have at the crown to close out the reading for Gemini? What do we got? Four of Cups. Cancer Energy. Melahel. The God deflecting evil. Healing capacity. Protection from weapons. Safety in travel. Gemini, Four of Cups is all about a whole new direction you are now taking in life. A completely new outlook. This is you making that decision, Gemini, with this Ace of Swords at the foundation. You realizing that you're truly dissatisfied with your environment. And that you're no longer willing to sacrifice your heart's desires anymore. And going after whatever this reading represents here for you. No matter what may come with that. Because you know the divine is going to catch you and guide you. All you have to do is take back the power and step into this energy of purpose and alignment. And allow the divine to arrange things in spirit for you. See, you have free will, Gemini. So the divine can't work in your favor until you allow them to. So really get out of your own way and allow the divine to help you. Help the divine help you. It's been a common theme in these Zodiac readings this past week. Help the divine help you. It's here, but you need to allow it. I know you'll make the right decision, Gemini. How could you not? Gemini, this is the energy that's available to you depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, all that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Gemini. Take care.